All right, so I figured we'll just do a little video on uh, cutting some of this thing up. Let's take a look here at some of the stuff. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cut off this top part. I was looking at how to support this thing and there isn't anything that's left other than the supports that we put in, which are these, somebody did it before we got here. There's a, a sister frame wheel that goes below the other one and it welds in at the horseshoe at the back and onto the uh, front beam. We've been working a little bit on some of the parts, so we sandblasted this thing up a little bit to see if it's, it's definitely saveable. Um, it just needs a little piece there put on, a little piece here maybe, you know, kind of cleaned up the back. It's really surprising as good as it looks. I'll show you some other parts we did. We sandblasted this off camera, got it done. Just figured we're gonna do a little, just going a little bit backwards. We're kind of gonna just do whatever parts we can. So we just worked on these here, stripped them down, welded up the parts where they were, where we cut them away from the other, um, down in here, wherever, where it was underneath, and uh, where the frame wheel was underneath it. And got these all stripped in. We're using a different product right now for some things. Um, I don't like this quite as good as I do this stuff over here, rust converter. This stuff's a little bit better for protection and long, you know, if you're gonna leave it out for a little bit. When I was watching E-Man Deluxe, he was using this and I thought, well, you know what, that looks kind of cool because it's really thin. If you notice, it's like real watery um, and it's kind of cool for some areas where you've got a, like in here where I want to kind of get it to kind of soak down into the cracks more. It might do a good job for that. It still has the same chemicals in it as the other. It just doesn't really have a primer to it as much. In fact, it comes out kind of sticky. That's what we do on the intake if we use it on that. So yeah, we poured it inside here and then just kind of squashed it around to make sure that there was no rust in here that was still alive inside there. This thing is actually in pretty good shape for how bad it was if you guys saw when I took it out of the car. I really almost thought it was not savable, but it's actually in great shape. So. Some of the stuff that looks really bad is really probably not as bad as it seems. So there's a lot of good metal here, um, believe it or not. Uh, it's it's weird, you know, you look at it at first and you get kind of thinking it's just really bad. And it is, I mean, but uh, let me show you some stuff here. Um, there's really no support right now. This whole thing is just hanging right here. That, that's actually the metal moving. Let me get a, get a stand here. Okay, so check this out. This thing is like, this is not doing anything. All this upper metal. So I really don't think if I cut this away, I'll maybe need to support anything above. I mean, there's going to be times when I have to cut the frame, I'm going to have to do some more supporting. But I think cutting that off, I can do safely. So we had to look at this for a little while, figure it out, and uh, kind of determine that. We don't know for sure if it is, but really there's. There's no, nothing here for me to weld onto to try and make a support. There's Everything's just bad. So I have to start cutting away stuff so I can see to find something that I can weld to to make a support and then figure out from there what to do. Um, so it's, it's a little tricky one. This is, you know, this is going to be a difficult repair to do. So uh, saving this one is, you know, pretty much, this is a pretty much an unsavable car. But, uh, it, you know, economically, if it was just a single cab, it wouldn't be worth doing. I mean, but... Um, because it would cost you more than you can just buy a single cab already, you know, better shape than this for not as much money as you'd have in metal. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and cut this up on camera here, and I'll let you guys check it out.
Well, check this out. This quarter was, uh, they just took another piece of metal at some point and just layered it right over the other, over the rust. Never tried to remove the rust, never tried to do anything, just layered it. It's had a lot of metal like that I found on this thing so far. So I don't know what part of that's gonna be saved. Well, maybe I can save the supports, I don't know. I'll see if they're okay. I may have to make my own. Um, we might get pretty creative on this one to get it done. We might end up just making a lot of stuff and making it, you know, not exactly like the original. So it's people are gonna not like that, but um, you know, what are you gonna do with something like this? I mean, you can't really spend $100,000 on metal save it um so yeah all these look at that oh, <laughs> cheese <laughs> cheese <laughs> cheese metal everything's pretty much cheese oh, that's from from her out from the frame out to here it's just cheese there's nothing left especially on this side the other side's a little bit better um shoot i'm trying to figure out where to start on this thing man this thing's this is a tough one. Uh, I do have the frame for the front, but I'm thinking somehow I got to get this thing supported and stay in place while I'm trying to put that in, right? So it's all just, the whole thing just collapses. I mean, there's just nothing left of it. So yeah, it's, you can see how bad it is. Not one piece of metal is any good back here. I didn't think there was much when I got looking at it. Um, this thing's in good shape though <laughs> no <laughs> yeah, it's savable uh, but this thing you know there's not much metal here to save so it's going to be pretty much new um, yeah and the frame there look at that that's a beauty I think if you just twisted that a little more it might just break off yeah, and fall off of there break in half or more we need that we kind of do I guess yeah, that, thing, that thing's totally gone and that where it connects to the firewall, that's wasted. I only have the frame from the front, from the beam, back to about right here is where I've got a little piece. So I still either need to make the rest of the frame, which it looks like four inch C channel would be very close. Other than that, it doesn't have the edge on the bottom. And uh, so I might end up using that. I can get that for about an eighth of the price of what they want for a, whatever 50 inch section or 20 inch section of the repair stuff. So square tubing, a lot of stuff is uh, like within spec. If you look at Musty One, he's built that, um, his single cab, he did all that with square tubing. He did, he did all these. He just took them all out because it was all wasted like this. It was worse. It wasn't this bad, but it was bad, and he just put um, square tubing in, and then he then he put the floor over that, so it doesn't you don't notice it unless you go underneath. And when you go underneath, it looks clean, it looks nice, and you know, we end up doing some of that stuff. Same thing with these tops. The, instead of using top hats, um, because you know I don't know what they are, sixty bucks a piece, and we got one, two. Three, four, five, six, six, seven, and then we got a rail that goes all the way around the edge. You know, I don't know. It gets expensive. You know, it's a well over ten grand. That's what I was looking. So, anyway, but anyway, so we'll fix it. We're gonna fix it somehow. We're gonna make it work. Make it look good. I'm trying to make it look as close to the original as possible. Still. But yeah, you can see it's it's just falling apart. Look at that, just just kick it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't it doesn't want to go that way. Yeah, just a little twist and it's off. That's how it's held on there. Just if anybody's show. interested, we got original bus the original sheet original bus sheet metal for sale. Good price. I got yeah, a lot of this box. stuff I don't know how to I don't even know how it looks so. We don't have another single cap to look at, so I'm gonna have to guess on a few things. It's gonna get, be a little bit weird. I almost want to set the quarter, get a new quarter, and set it on here, and then use that to make sure everything fits. It's gonna be something like that. 
and then uh and then just check wheel geometry and make sure everything's right there, you know, as far as front to rear. Because really, you know, technically I could use a frame bench to do this, and I don't have one, so. We'll, just, we'll figure out how to do without it.
Something died in there. Looks to me like it's a bird. Probably a ski seagull. This thing had to be near the ocean, right? Look how rusty that thing is. Let's go back here. Look at that. There's not much left here. I'm pretty sure I can save that firewall piece. Most of the fender wells. Some of them I got to change out. I'm not sure up here how bad that's going to be. So I grind it down. Probably just put a bunch of patches in there. Really. I mean, it, it's kind of the way we're going to have to do this thing. It's going to be literally, um, if I was to buy all the metal, um, it would probably cost me more than it would be to just replace the whole thing. And a lot of people say there's that place in Michigan that's starting to make bodies. Um, if you look at it, it says $14,000. That's without doors, without a nose, without a lot of things. There's a lot of things missing on that. And no uh, door over there, no deck lid, you know. So you add up all the stuff. If you were to try and do that, you're going to end up with literally, you know, 20 grand in, in stuff. You could buy another truck for that, you know, already one that's running and driving probably so but we kind of want to save this one because it is the bucket truck and it does have all the controls and all that in here all this stuff that's vital it's kind of difficult to put it all in something else so we got all this stuff here so it's decision making time and that's where you know a lot of people are going to get weird on me on this thing they're gonna go oh my god you gotta go all original original parts everything you gotta go get all these pieces and go a hundred percent you know go to the you know yeah is it your wallet no <laughs> so if it was your wallet i guarantee you when you went down to find out how much all this stuff's gonna cost i mean these things here are 52 dollars a piece and there's 10 of them that's 500 bucks you know if i was to buy a new corner i got those those corners i'm gonna save New corners are, you know, well, if I get them from Gerson or from the funky green panel guy, uh, what does he call himself now? Classic Fab. Okay, if I get them from Classic Fab, they're going to cost me about three fifty dollars a piece. Uh, the quarters are like uh, $385 or something like that a piece, something like that for each quarter for this long panel corner. For the other side, these are about, uh, I'm not sure what these were. Um, to replace these, these here, I don't think they're available. So, you know, and then you have to manufacture it. You know, well, this is the way you gotta look at it. Okay. This is an inch and a half right here from here to here, inch and a half, inch and a half from here to there. What would fit? And are you really going to see it? So that's where I got to kind of figure things out. Um, I gotta map it out. So I've got, if you notice, I've got the one side cut out. This was the worst side. So I cut out the worst side and I'm gonna leave that together so that I can pattern it. Okay. And then I can make everything. Um, so what I've considered doing and I'm probably gonna end up doing is like this stuff, like this here, is probably gonna get flat metal put in here. No ribs. Okay. Um, can you see it from anywhere not really from the fender well maybe um but is it something that's focal area no all the outside cheap metal i'm going to go original metal and this like i'll just cut to here cut across there if i can i have to see when i try and cut it to see how bad the metal is probably i can save that part and i'll just put a flat metal piece in there and then i'll use like this will be rectangle tubing. Put a piece of plate on top of it. Piece of sheet metal on top. Like, make it look kind of like that, maybe. And these will probably be just uh, square one and a half tubing. I've seen guys do it that way before. And it looks fine. You know, you do when you look, the only time you notice is if you look up, you don't really know if you don't know. If you, you know, you guys are going to know and somebody potentially it might buy it, you might know, but it's going to be stronger that way. And I can tell you, a square tubing up here is going to be a lot stronger than that top hat. So, in this edge here, you just make this with square tubing, and you just add 
the sheet metal around the edge here and put a piece of sheet metal on top of it have it lay off the edge and then uh, put everything on there that's probably how I'm gonna do it I still haven't added up everything uh, just the sheet metal alone was over six thousand um, dollars I think for the back of the truck that's not including the cab so you know just for the you know and that's not including all the sheet metal that's not including the top hats and all that stuff this is just the outside sheet metal and the stuff that I have saved and me saving the deck lid me saving the the uh, the apron you know all that stuff so you know you're talking this would easily get into you know a hundred thousand dollars now you know is it going to be worth the hundred and fifty hundred two hundred thousand dollars to somebody maybe maybe not you know who wants a commercial truck it's just going to be the right person you know are they going to be willing to put that kind of money out probably not but if it's all original i mean if it's all done nice it looks good and it works and it functions and it looks original and it'll be really cool if it's running like that so it all depends you know anyway but that's how i'm looking at it you know there's only you know to me there's only one way to do this thing and that's a, that's that way if you try and do it the other way it just get this thing will just kill me i'll never be able to finish it i, I know better so I'll, it'll just cost me so much money the rails is going across. I'm debating on whether to make those or replace them or the support, frame supports. Those are $85 a piece. You know, um, you know, I've got to replace all this tubing. The frame. Uh, the frame is four inch by two inch C channel with an edge on the bottom. I can either put the edge on and I'll put the edge on. Depends on what I want to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Or I could try and buy the frame pieces, which are super expensive. I do have the front piece, the piece that goes from here on up around. That's the part you really can't make. I have that, uh, a used original VW one. I think I have it back to about right. I'm going to say right here where my foot is. I don't know if you see that. Right about there. I think I've got that much of the frame for the front. And the trick is, is to figure out how to do it. Um, and with this thing being offset with the wheels, I'm going to have to maybe get some wheels and tires on it that are all the same and have it on level ground and do this on the ground. Because I can't put it up, I can't lift it up, I can't do anything like that at this point because it'll just it'll just collapse. So, I mean, it's it's pretty sturdy with that frame underneath it, with that temporary frame. And it's pretty solid the way it is right now. But um, if I uh, put it on the hoist, you know, it'll become a big banana. You know, so uh, I can't do that, you know. So what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do now, I mean, I've just kind of been playing around with thinking about stuff, trying to figure out how to do it, is like, if you notice the frame, they go back so far straight, and then they turn to go out back here. So... What I may do is support this up a little bit and then cut here, okay? And then uh, cut back here somewhere and replace this section in the frame with C-channel. And um, like I said, I could buy the pieces, they're like $49 a piece, cut and made original looking and all that stuff. But like I said, you know, that's 49, 49, 49, 49, that's, Two hundred dollars there, you know, it it'll get like I said, it'll be up in the. I'll be having twenty grand in metal, and I could just, but yeah, I could buy one of those trucks already made when they're when they're ready. But, um, you know, I I'm not sure about that myself, because by the time you know, like I said, they're not going to be fourteen grand. They're going to be like a lot more than that. You know, could I just buy another single cap? Probably be easier. And just put all the you know put all the, the pertinent stuff on it but um i could use c channel to make the back half that'll work um i could put you know on the and then i have to box it in on the inside if you notice that's boxed in over there 
put the holes in it and stuff to make it look like it is. You can do that. Um, I'm not sure on the bottom edge. The bottom edge is actually, yeah, it actually it is C channel and then they just rolled the bottom edge. So I could actually heat the bottom edge up and roll it the way it is like that right now and have, you know, use this is two by four very close to that in inches. So I might just do that. And then just if I want to, I can just roll that bottom edge. Just heat it up with a torch real hot red and then just use the duckbill pliers and bend it down. Might be the best solution there. And I'll have the original looking frame. And then I'll just, uh, right back here where it goes up and all that stuff, I'll figure out, once I get that top hat piece out of the way, I'll figure out where I want to use it and then I'll, I'll put it in place. And then what I probably do is get one side right and then I might just put all the top hats in and the supports in, the tubing in, and on the other side I'll do the same thing. I'll just cut out the frame piece and then graft it in and, and spot weld it to the to these things here so that it stays in place. You know, that's my theory so far. Um, but I, the front frame is the one that's going to be tough. Some people say, "Well, put it on a rotisserie." Well, how am I going to put it on a rotisserie? It won't even go on one right now. If I put it on one, it's just going to collapse. So, can't do that. I got to start putting the frame together first, and then figure out to, where to go from there. I don't really, I don't think I'm going to need a rotisserie anyway because everything's right here. Most of the damage is right here. You know what you're seeing. Most of it's right here, and then the upper part you do you don't do on a rotisserie. There's no reason to. So, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. And then these things here are what 75 bucks just for this little piece of skin. I can make that thing in an hour. There's no reason for me to buy that. The skin goes down and then has a little lip on the edge. I'll just make that thing there. Some things I'm gonna make, some things I'm gonna buy. Mostly it's a lot of stuff's gonna get made and it's not gonna be exactly like the original. There's no way I can make these top hats. And there's no way I can buy them for 500 bucks for all of them. Maybe I can get the sponsorship, but, you know, again, like I said, I, I don't know. It's still going to get up there and to, to the way serious money. It's going to be up into the... I knew it was going to be expensive, but, uh, you know, I already have ideas in my mind that I'm going to do stuff in. See what your thoughts on that? I don't know. I know Musty One did it. And yeah, probably got a peanut gallery, you know, that's what he says. Peanut gallery gets pretty crazy whenever you do something that isn't perfectly original. And you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> People don't like it. That's all right. You don't have to like it. I'm going to do it my way. It's my my truck. And I'll save it the best way I can. Anyway, uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Let's get a look at this thing. Ah, trip and stuff. Yeah. And we'll get a look from the other side. Look at that pile. Wow. That's a rusty pile. Gotta save those things too, if I can. I'll use panel adhesive, put them on the inside of the panel. I won't have to weld them and warp the metal. How about this for looking for something that uh, might look good? Yeah, how about that? With the lift in the background? <laughs> yeah. It's a nasty one. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.